Mr. Kadir Kamanadan, the CEO of Chella Software and uh, CEO of CAN Share Brokers, started his education in uh, Sri Lanka and had uh, studied his college in education at the Ivy League Institutes of India, Regional Engineering College, Tipsi, as well as Indian Institute of Management, Calcutta. And after finishing his bachelor's in electronics and communication engineering from regional engineering college, Tuchirapalli, he went on to uh, be recruited from uh, into a multinational company, Philips Meditech, and then later switched to Indian Institute of Calcutta to pursue his postgraduate diploma in business management, finished with uh, flying colors in finance, and was absorbed as a management trainee with uh, Indusam Unilever Limited. Then on his father's call, he had come back to Madurai, looked after his father's business, the CAN shares and, trade, shares and stocks trading company, which was one of the pioneers in establishing uh, the digital uh, transactions way back in 1995 as a member of National Stock Exchange. Magan Tande Kattu Madurai, even Tande, Yenotram, Golden Soil, Rabin Mahara, Adamadri. He wanted to pursue his passion on software. So he, did, he branched out and started a company called Chenna Software in Madurai. Today, one of the biggest software companies started by an uh, Indian citizen. Started by an Indian citizen in Madurai is Chenna Software. So we should all be proud of Chella software, rather, they are giving solutions for risk management in stock exchanges. One of the primary customers was National Stock Exchange of India. Then they subsequently branched out to Middle East, Africa, as well as in uh, uh, Far East Asia. So with these few words, I present before you our uh, chief guest for the day, Mr. Kadir Kamanadan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ganesh, for the nice introduction. Uh, as Mr. Kadir sir uh, takes over the dais, uh, let me add a few more words. Kadir is confined to his own world. He dreams big and achieves it. For those who happen to meet him only today, his firm Canon Co. was the first to start NSC online trading in Madurai. And those who are stock market investors for the past 10 to 20 years would have been his client at one point or other. Kadir's inquestiveness led to debug many of the problems in the nascent online trading platform which eventually led NSE to buy out his solutions with suitable compensations. Since then, Kadir has been instrumental in developing and implementing software solutions for many stock exchanges across the globe. While many may feel that it is not possible to grow from a small town like Madurai, here is the man who proved them wrong. His company Chella Software is headquartered in Madurai, servicing clients across the globe. In spite of all these achievements, Kadir maintains a low profile and probably prefers low visibility. Today we are fortunate to have this simple, down-to-ground, humble and ever-smiling entrepreneur, past chairman of Confederation of Indian Industry Madurai, Kothamangalam Sri Annamalai Kadir Kamnadan. Over to you sir for the keynote address. Never have I received such glowing praise from Kadir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's a great delight and honor to be here. Uh, truly honored to be uh, invited uh, as a chief guest of this. Um, I'm humbled because I have a lot to be humble about. So I think a lot of uh, a lot of that is uh, you know, it's good for price, but uh, it has its own uh, hard work and its own uh, yeah, its own hard work essentially. So. Um, I'll start off with the, with what we wife personally have gained from uh, you know from my own interactions with the, uh, with the community, being a part of the community. I think some examples were given by speakers before me. See, essentially, I think uh, there, there were some incidents. I'll give you uh, one incident where uh, at one point of time we were looking at constructing a building, and then we went for a loan to SIPI. Finally, we didn't take the loan, but then we were talking to SIPI for the loan. So two people had come up to the office and were discussing the terms of the loan and so on. So one of them said, apart from the primary collateral, they wanted the additional collateral for the loan, right? 
And I said, I can't give her a collateral. The other fellow who had come along with the, with the manager said, see, he's a Nagarata. He's not, he's not going to give you additional collateral. But he will pay you your loan back in time. So that is how he introduced me to the, uh, to the manager. And the negotiation stopped there. I mean, uh, you had nothing more to say. Uh, this, this happened in Madurai, and I was so uh, taken aback that, uh, the, uh, that the reputation of the community goes so far uh, beyond uh, you know, our own business. In another instance, there was, a, there was this, uh, you know, we were recruiting a young lady uh, for work, and uh, one of our people was telling uh, her parent and uh, father had accompanied her. So, uh, you know, one of our people who was interviewing the lady was telling the father, it's likely they will have to stay back a little late, you know, we have these deliveries and, you know, you are not sure of the time. So, likely that, uh, you know, it will be delayed, are you sure that, uh, you know, being, uh, being a lady, it's okay. And uh, he said, see, this is a Nagarta organization, you know, I have complete trust, I know my daughter is safe with you. And so that's again, you know, the social capital that we inherit. See, this is something you get a free pass into a lot of things just by being a modern Nagata. Uh, I think uh, this, this is quite amazing, the kind of work that the others have done before us, the kind of reputations that they've built, and the trust that they've kept, is something that we all benefit from. And I think uh, we are obligated to pass that on to the subsequent generations. And I'm truly blessed to be you know, born in this community, a community of very uh, ethical businessmen and professionals. And who also make, uh, made, uh, you know, they made a mark or set the standards for philanthropy um, and for generosity. There are so many instances, you know, people mentioned uh, the schools and colleges the community has started. You know, I remember, I mean, I'm told that one part of time uh, in Tamil Nadu, there were just about three or four major educational foundations. Of those, uh, three of them uh, were uh, Chitya Foundation, of the four. So I think uh, uh, the people before us have really led the way and uh, so blessed to be part and to be born in this uh, community. Um, Madurai is, uh, is a big place for Nagaratars. I think there are many, I'm told about 5,000 families in, uh, in, uh, in Madurai, second only maybe to Chennai. And therefore it is, uh, it's, it's quite uh, nice that uh, NCC has started its uh, chapter here. And uh, because of the large number of people, I think it's got the potential to make a big impact. Um, I think one, um, by, you know, uh, so people mentioned during my talk uh, that uh, during the discussion that I had, you know, there, 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 there are the other, other associations, you know, you have these uh, Marwati associations, the Sindhi associations and so on, which are very, very good. They really do extremely well for, uh, you know, their own community. Uh, I think we should also look at what the Jewish uh, uh, associations do, the Jewish business councils, the, the Jewish chambers of commerce. Now, I think our, our community has a lot of parallels with Jews, you know, basically being in money lending. Uh, we went outside of our country to earn money, which the Jews also did. And, uh, you know, they also went through a problem. We also went through a problem right after the World War II. You know, but they have coped in a very different way. They have coped in a very different way, and they are almost 100 times our size about one, one and a half crores, I think, in terms of size. Uh, but uh, they, um, they, they command, you know, much, much more business than, you know, they, they, they command the, the what, what you can call the commanding rights of the American economy is all with them. In, the, in fact, the entire Western economy. I think we have a lot to learn from them. If you go to some of the sites, you'll see the collaboration and the, and the, uh, and how well they work together, how well they network together, how well they help each other. I think that's an excellent model for, you know, somebody like us. Uh, with, with our, with our uh, footprint, with uh, such a small uh, community uh, size, uh, if we are able to make such a big uh, impact, even without uh, uh, organizations like NCC, uh, if we come together using, uh, you know, with, with the organizations like NCC, I think we can, we can achieve a lot, lot more. And it's very exciting for me. So for NCC in, uh, in Madurai, I think, um, uh, if you were to look at, uh, I think, the number one, uh, agenda for uh, the uh, chamber is to promote entrepreneurship, you know, apart from networking and other things. Um, if you can uh, segment the population here in Madurai, uh, I think you have the students, uh, quite a few, quite a bit of students. Uh, I think you already have a good plan to send them in. Then I've heard a lot about it. And then you have, uh, you're also targeting housewives who are currently, uh, you know, maybe in business, may want to get into business, may want to expand and so on. And also the employees who are currently not in business who are looking to get into business and 
you know, little balking or a little not very sure of taking the risk and taking the leap, uh, leap into entrepreneurship. See, as far as students is concerned, you know, I, um, uh, uh, my own experience is that uh, the, uh, when you must catch them young, and you give them as much exposure as possible when they are young. You see, in the, in the road that I live, uh, at the end of the road, uh, you know, there's this um, uh, anand called Subramaniam, Naru Subramaniam from uh, Natras and Kota, I think. See, his son, uh, Odeyapan, I think, when he was uh, just when he was in the 8th standard, uh, and I was then running uh, can stock brokers. In the 8th standard, Odeyapan, uh, you know, he brought his uh, son along and then said, he's going to be with you for a month. So you just, uh, you know, treat him like a normal employee, you know, ask him to do all sorts of odd jobs. You know, they are very, very well to do people who learn, but he still wanted his son to get that experience. And he said, you can give any sort of job and then you can ask him to maybe maintain inventory or do something and then he will do everything for you. Now, even if you have to ask him to get water, he will get you water, right? <laughs> exact words that he used. Um, so, what happened was thus for about a month, month and a half. And uh, did such a good job, you know, uh, you know, we gave him this job of regularizing inventory. You know, then we had physical shares. Today you have shares in DMAT form. At one point of time we had shares in physical form. And a lot of customers would come and give you the share certificates and ask them to ask you to keep it with you and then sell. And you would have had, you'd keep custody of that, <coughs> safe custody. And then therefore we maintained uh, registers and so on. This boy did such a good job. I think, uh, you know, it was, it was amazing. And I think he also picked up a lot from this. Uh, we benefited, he benefited. And then I tried the same with my own son. So when my son was in his engineering, I called up uh, Nagapa uh, Motors in Kinganaga and then my son went there for about a month, month and a half to be with them, including in service, including in you know various uh, divisions, uh, to be part of the uh, business. Uh, I think this is the culture that we can probably promote a lot more actively. Um, you know, uh, even at a very young age, maybe just uh, in their uh, school students, maybe, but even in their college students. Um, uh, a more formal internship is something that we should also consider. I think uh, that, is a, uh, that, that is an eye-opener for many uh, students. If they come for, uh, I, I think, you know, all of us at least need to take at least one student, maybe a year, we should be pledged to do that. For the student, whoever it is, I think coming out and working in an organization as an intern uh, is, a, is a very different experience. Some organizations go even far beyond internship. For example, you can, you're allowed to shadow the CEO. It's called shadowing. So basically, he sits in the CEO's office, you give him a chair, sits in the CEO's office, he's a part of every meeting, even while he's a student. He just observes. And uh, by observing, I think they, get, they can be inspired quite a lot. Uh, they get to know, some they understand, some they don't understand, of course. But then they get to know how business is done, how uh, the problems crop up, you know, how people are, um, and how negotiations are done, and so on. I think these are, well, these are good things that can that we can maybe pick up. And uh, shadowing CEOs is there, I know, in uh, many cultures. It is something that we can also start. Even if you do one one person a year, I think that would be a very good uh, uh, turning point for uh, the concerned student. Um, I know several you know, housewives, I mean, uh, Archie is a very active entrepreneurial, very extremely active. Um, uh, but it's also true that there are several people uh, you know, with the economic background that is not very uh, strong, they also want to be part of the, uh, you know, they want, also want to do something for, uh, to, uh, as a business. So, I don't know, uh, you know Nut Snacks is a, is, a, is, a, is a very strong and a very powerful brand name. Um, I don't know if you've uh, seen, tracked what uh, Lichit uh, did with, uh, with their puppets. You know, they have a large number of people, uh, you know, they form a cooperative and then they've done it really well. They have very professional branding, professional marketing, uh, because they come together as a group. And uh, they are able to scale uh, heights that individually none of them can, because they are all from not so um, uh, strong economic backgrounds. I think for, I've seen unfortunately that there are quite a few families who, where uh, the backgrounds are not so strong. And therefore maybe you can look at something that you can do for them together as a cooperative or you know, something for, for them. In, in areas where success is almost guaranteed. Uh, in a brand, uh, they can't go wrong. I think uh, they, they can do extremely well in uh, these areas. Um, for new entrepreneurs, new employees getting into uh, employees getting into entrepreneurship, I think one of the uh, one of the major stumbling blocks is how do I get how do I start a company? What are the legal issues? How do I handle regulations and so on? 
I don't know if the chamber is planning to have a legal counsel uh, or, you know, or as part of the chamber. I think it'd be good to have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I think uh, sure. So you've been thinking through all of this. Uh, so it'd be good to have one. So when somebody starts, including the constitution, including the legal issues, I think there's somebody to go to and somebody to talk to. I think that will be very comforting. Somebody you trust to go to. I think is very comforting. Um, so if you look at the history of uh, of Nagaratas, you know my own theory is that. Um, um, see, uh, uh, when uh, we have always done well when the markets have been free and uh, and uh, and fair. But where we have struggled is uh, is when there is no sanctity of contract, when there is no open free market. Uh, for example, when we come came back after the World War II, uh, you know we went through a lot of trouble, uh, a stigmatized uh, business of uh, money lending. Uh, contracts virtually unenforceable in courts um, and a license raj you know so even those who wanted to get into manufacturing had to go to license raj and that is an environment i think where chetias did not thrive um, the change that is happening now i think the golden days of uh, the Chetia, for the chetias actually starting in my opinion um, we are slowly getting into slowly but surely getting into an era uh, where it's more free market uh, there is meritocracy. I can certainly see that in my business. I think in more and more you see that in government businesses. It's already there in central government. I think it's, it's, it's mainly meritocracy. Sanctity of contract. You have a contract, you must be able to you know, enforce it. Today it's still not there, but you're getting there. But when these things fall into place, I think uh, that is really the, uh, the fertile soil for Nagaratas to thrive and prosper. I think that is, uh, that is happening. And therefore, I have big hopes that, uh, that we will continue to do extremely well, we'll do very well in the coming days. The, um, there is so much that uh, I have personally taken from, uh, from the Nagarata community. Uh, you know, you have uh, Tirupati and Anil who spoke so much about collaboration. Now, I have uh, personally gained from you know, what he has done with the, uh, with the science near uh, Devagotai, uh, but unconditionally and without any uh, uh, anything in return, they've given so much wealth in terms of setting up my own land, right? I think they're almost for a year, year and a half. So it's not just empty words. I think uh, they've actually put into practice what they're uh, what they are uh, uh, professing. Um, I think if all of us do the same, uh, the community can be uh, widely different from what it is today. And it's, uh, it's actually quite exciting to be there. Um, the one area where we have been traditionally strong is in finance. Uh, we have been bankers, you know, we had a number of banks, uh, we had a lot of these, uh, you know, money lending businesses, finance uh, firms and so on. But I think the period of uh, the last uh, last few decades where uh, the, the money lending business went through a lot of trouble, many of us opted to get out, gone to other businesses. But the situation has changed, you know, back again. Now you find firms like, uh, you know, Mutu Finance and also many few people from Kerala who are really coming up in a big way. And they've taken away our businesses right at our, our, our doorstep, right at the backyard. They've taken uh, most of the businesses away. Uh, similarly, you know, microfinance companies, there are so many of them, but we are not there. You know, 20 microfinance companies have uh, been, you know, have been permitted by RBI, but uh, not one that is, uh, that is owned by the HTRs. Somehow, I don't know whether we still, the, uh, the, uh, we're still shy of getting back into the business because of the experience that we have had. But I think others have gone into the business far more aggressively and have uh, grown really large in that business. It's uh, maybe time for us to look at some models that will work. Today, the capital requirement is very large, so an individual cannot really start a big NBFC or a bank. But I think there has to be a Chetia specific model that we should be able to work out. Um, and then, uh, if we can brainstorm this, I think it's not impossible to start a bank or a large NBFC uh, and to get into the finance business again. And it's not just one or two, I mean, uh, there are so many people doing money lending in a small way in several places, they can all get together and be part of this, uh, you know, that this uh, company that can be started. So, uh, thank you so much for having invited me. It's already uh, already eight o'clock. Um, so I have uh, I have no doubt that the uh, NCC, uh, Madhuri chapter will uh, do its best. 
uh, not only to uh, make incremental improvements to the life of Nagarathars here, but maybe uh, even transformational change to the lives of Nagarathars, something that is really worthwhile for all of us to look forward to. And as we make progress, I'm sure all of us will be cheering on. Thanks to all of you and thanks to the e team from uh, Chennai that's come all the way uh, to get this chapter started. Thank you so much. Thanks.